Central Wisconsin, and it's an annual tradition, the Eagle River World Championship Snowmobile Derby. And Gary, three days of racing already in the books, but today is what everything is all about. A world champion will be crowned at day's end. This is what it's all about right here. These guys have been qualifying, trying to make the finals. This is final day. They'll all be out there. They'll have their best equipment. They've had lots of test time. This is it. It's come down to final time at Eagle River. And Gary knows what that's all about because he's taken a checkered flag here at Eagle River. We'll have more on that coming up later on. We have two hours of live coverage coming your way. It's team coverage, and joining us in our coverage is Christy McMillan, who is trackside. Christy? Thanks a lot, Dave. The fans are really getting excited down here by the track as they're anxiously awaiting the big race of the afternoon, the World Championship race. Now, last night was the qualifying race uh, for the championship race this afternoon. And let's take a look at those highlights from last night. The big surprise of the evening was in Heat 1. Dale Loritz from Green Bay failed to qualify in that heat. The winner of that race was Jack Villeneuve in Heat 1. Uh, also qualifying in Heat 2 was the USSA points leader, Mike Hool. And from Heat 3 was Dave Wall, the defending champion from last year in the last chance heat. They ran a last chance heat last night. Terry Wall also qualified in that. But now this afternoon, earlier on today, they ran a, a shootout race for that world championship race this afternoon. And qualifying in that race was Dale Lawrence from Green Bay, who will get a chance to race in the world championship race this afternoon, and also Shane Wall. So there'll be a 12 ra uh, sled field in that championship race this afternoon, which approximately will kick off about 2.30. Let's go back up to Dave. All right, thanks a lot, Christy. That, of course, will be the big race of the day, but we have five races coming your way in all this afternoon. The first will be the Pro 600 Snowcross Final. That is coming up in mere moments. We have to take a timeout first. You are watching the hottest sleds on ice. Time for a local station break. We'll be back to Eagle River after this. Gary, a little bit chilly. The wind has picked up here, but uh, not as chilly as it has been in years past, at least where we have some digits on the board this year. Yes, we do. I mean, those digits don't have a minus in front of them, so uh, it's a big bonus, the, uh, especially for us standing up here, but uh, the drivers, they're going to appreciate it. We are getting ready for the first event of the day that we'll be bringing to you live, and that is the Pro 600 Snowcross Final. Now, this is a mogul event. It will be the only mogul event that we will be showing to you today, but really a little bit different and, and maybe a, a funner event for the fans in the stands? I think it should be more interesting uh, or a little different for them. It's obvious, It's different for me. I've never done this form of racing. The guys are going to get some, uh, some air out there and uh, they'll put on a show for the fans, I'm sure. And we'll see how much air they can get. It'll be 10 sleds coming up in the race. We're going to be bringing you that race live coming up after this. We have to take one more time out. We'll be back with the live coverage of the Pro River, Wisconsin, the Pro 600 Snowcross Final getting ready to get underway. It is a 10 sled field. Todd Wolf, number 17, Dennis Erickson Jr., number 25. Tommy Amasalo out of Finland, who we'll talk about in a moment, is number four. Drew Hoff, number 55. Tom Matilla, number 321. Tom Kales, number 402. Brian Harmon is sled number 35. And Rodney Van Epperen is sled number 245. And I mentioned Tommy Amasalo all the way from Finland. You say look out for him in this race. Well, it's a form of racing. This form of racing is fairly new here in the, in the United States, definitely new to Eagle River. It's been going on for quite some time back in uh, over in Europe. And this chap would not make this track.